All right, so we are halfway through our reference, I mean, our, our unit circle. Um, we've already found our quarter angles, and we've already found a 45-degree reference angle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about having a 30-degree reference angle. Well, if this is 45, we're going to be a little bit short of 45, in fact, 15 degrees. So a 30-degree reference angle, if you have a 30-degree reference angle in the first quadrant, then your actual angle has to be 30 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out what that is in radians. So that would be pi 6. Good news is this is one of the angles that you actually need to know. So if you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, you should know the sides are 1, 2, square root of 3. We are in the first quadrant, so all the sides will be positive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the ratios. Remember, your sine comes second and your cosine comes first. So uh, keep that in mind. So the cosine is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 where our sine value is going to be one half. Now if you draw the triangle you can find tangent pretty easily by doing one over the square root of three and rationalize it to the square root of three over three or you could actually use the quotient identity and say this divided by this and simplify it to get your answer. And what we're going to do next is say well we could also have a 30 degree reference angle in the second quadrant. So if you if this is 45 degrees again our reference angle is between our terminal side in the x-axis. So a 30 degree reference angle in the uh, second quadrant is actually going to be 30 degrees from your x-axis. So that's going to be your uh, reference angle. So we're going to calculate our actual angle and our actual angle is going to be 150 degrees. Well we are actually 30 degrees. 30 degrees is pi 6. So if you're pi 6 short of being one whole, which is 6 6, then this angle is 5 pi over 6. Alright, uh, what that does to our ordered pairs, again you should know it changes the sign of your x value. So now this is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 and a positive 1 half. If you want to draw your triangle, it would look like this. Remember that your hypotenuse is always positive, where in this case it's going to be our, uh, our uh, adjacent side. It's going to change signs. So the x value it's going to be a negative square root of 3. All right, moving right along. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, if we have a 30 degree reference angle, 30 degree reference angle in the nice little third quadrant, it'll put us somewhere there. Uh, our actual angle, so we've rotated from here to here, is going to be 30 degrees past 180, so 210 degrees. Uh, for the radian measure, we're basically one-sixth pi-thirds, or just getting 30 degrees, past 180. So if this is six-six, one-sixth past that is seven pi-six. And then uh, what that's going to do, it's basically going to give us the same order pairs, just both of them will be negative now. So negative square root of three over two. Man, I'm kind of pushing the edge of my board here. So negative square root of three over two and negative one-half. We can do this also for our nice little fourth quadrant. So we're going to rotate. And again, we want a reference angle. Whoops, that's maybe a little bit, a little bit thin. Probably be about right there. So 30 degree reference angle. We are basically 30 degrees short of being a full circle. So this angle right here is going to be 330 degrees. We're also one sixth of being a full circle. So in terms of 6, this will be 12, 6, a full circle. So 1, 6 short of that will be 11 pi, 6. One thing you need to realize is in the nice little uh, fourth quadrant, the uh, values are going to be the same, but what's going to change in the fourth quadrant is your uh, x is positive and your y is negative. So what that tells us, again, anything that's coterminal with those right there are going to give you uh, similar I mean, same, the same uh, trig function values. And what else you, what else you need to know is that, uh, that, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. I'm sure it was really important. Oh, you can find your tangent by doing a sine over cosine for any of these. And once you know all three, then you can find the other six trig function values just by taking the reciprocal. 
So hopefully that gets you on the right track, and next we'll look at our 60 degree reference angle.